Look at her. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Look at Her, the Hey Queen after show where our super celebrity guest looks at some of the queens she's played with, slayed with, or even laid with, and spills little tea or throws a little shade if she has to, or just tells us something that we don't know. Today, our guest is the Queen of the North, the one and only Miss Brooklyn Hyde. Oh, hi. 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 Stunning. Thank you. <laughs> my Stacey McKenzie voice. Yes, very gorgeous. A good Stacey McKenzie impression. Thank you. <laughs> Brooklyn Heights is here and serving us quite a beautiful look. You oh like what my you see? Good. I do like what I see. <laughs> you make this plastic thing look fancy, Brooke. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> All right, now, Brooke, I know you know how to play this game. What are, you, what, are you, what are you insinuating? Well, you've looked at some girls in other uh, venues and you've given a very truthful opinion. So we hope you will do the same today. Always. Well, wonderful. You're the queen of the north. You have to live up to the title. Right. All right, let us begin. Okay. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, the beauty of plastique tiara. Uh. It's just annoying when you see, you, you know when you see these drag queens on Instagram and then you meet them in real life and they don't look anything like themselves and then you see these drag queens on Instagram and you see them in real life and they look exactly like themselves. She's one of those. Like she is just as stunning in person as she is in her photos. And she's just beautiful. Like it doesn't make any sense. Like she's just so pretty. And she's actually really, really funny. Like, I know, I don't, I don't think a lot of people got to see that side of her on our season, but she's very funny. Like, we always have a good kiki whenever we see each other. And she's one of my good girlfriends from that show. What's a moment that you guys had on the set together that we wouldn't know about? <laughs> I actually have a good one. Mm. Um, I forget what episode it was. I remember when, I think it was the Farm to Runway, when we all had to, well, there's two. The first episode she did not say a word to anybody. She was so quiet and just like doing her own thing. And then like we were getting ready to get to do the runway or whatever and I was sewing my thing and she just walks over to me and goes, you're my biggest competition here. And walks away and I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then um, when Rue walked around to ask us all like who, who we think should go home and why, um, the Farm to Runway episode, I believe. She walked She walked by me and just let me you know and said, I'm going to say you, don't be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> but then he, they, that's when they had their big emotional moment. Right. She, they, she started crying and they got that nice, she got a nice hug from Rue. So I don't think she ever got asked who should go home. So she right. never said me, but she was going to because she's a shady bitch. <laughs> now that was quite a moment when Plastique got the I'm your new mommy a hug. I know. What was the reaction of the workroom? I mean, it was very sweet. Like I, she was really going through it and like she was really kind of having a breakdown and I went and kind of gave her a little hug afterwards to let her know that I loved her. And it, she's, Plastique was so young uh, on, on the show. I mean, she's still so young, but like it's, it's a hard thing to go through and kind of bare your soul to somebody when you've had like issues like that with your family. So I was really proud of her for saying what she said and kind of showing us who she is and being raw and real. All right, and she got that hug. I just, the got, hug heard around the world that got, all the other Drag Race girls that didn't get a hug wish they I, I got. didn't get a hug. <laughs> <laughs> you got Drag Race Canada, so I think you're good. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, next queen. Look at her. This queen recently was on Drag Race All-Stars and was Serving it, Miss Roxy Andrews. Oh, I have such a drag boner for Roxy Andrews. Yes. <laughs> she is, I think, in my opinion, the best drag queen in the world. She's just that one-stop shop, head to toe. She does it all herself. It's sickening. It's over-the-top, high, glamour, beautiful. She's stunning. She's just stunning. She's like a, a work of art all the time. And she's like that, that old school, that old school Texas pageant drag, but like with a new school twist. There's just something, I just love her. I love her, I love her, I love her. I've loved her forever. Like she's one of my favorites. And now, work, when did you get to first meet her? 
Oh gosh, uh, probably at Continental. One of the times at Continental right. or the, around the pageant scene is kind of when I first met her and I was completely in awe of her and I'm still in awe of her, but I luck I'm lucky enough to kind of count her as a friend now. And I actually, I brought back Canada Continental, which is a prelim to Miss Continental that we hadn't had in about 10 years in Toronto. And I brought that back this last year and I brought her up to be the head judge. Wow. Yeah, which I was super happy she was able to do and it was really nice to have her there because she really is just one of my favorite drag queens ever i bet she would be a great judge she is she's great she knows what she's talking about she knows what she's looking at like and she's fair and she'll she's honest like she's she's roxy andrews <laughs> now you like when you saw roxy come out to be the lip sync assassin on all stars you know these days we expect a lot of tricks and we expect a lot of she didn't do a goddamn thing, yes. and I didn't care. Right, she's just served the performance. She, I didn't care. She could do, she, she's, it's, I think people get caught up in the shenanigans and the trickery. There are a lot of amazing drag artists who don't, not, do not, they don't have to move and can deliver an incredible performance. And I think Roxy's one of those. Like, she is a work of art. I could have watched, I just watched her for those three minutes and she walked around the stage, she did her thing, she did her reveal, and I was here for every single second of it. Like, that's just not her gig. Like, her gig is the look. And I still think she's an amazing performer, despite the fact that she doesn't really dance a lot. I don't right. think that makes you, I don't think that qualifies you to be an amazing performer. And I think that's something a lot of the newer Drag Race fans are missing. They think it's shablams and dips and all splits and all of that stuff. And that's great, but it has to be done well and it has to make sense with the song. Yeah. But also if you can just, there's nothing more powerful than being able to stand there and just deliver an amazing performance without doing any of that. I think that's the mark of a true talent. Yeah, the presence. Mm -hmm, it's presence. Roxy so she has it. Andrews, thick and juicy. Did I honey. mention that I love her? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that ass, that body. Oh. When she revealed the thick and juicy and you saw her firm, tight ass, I was like, wow. I was, I, I, I kept watching it. I was like, I'm Carson. Because Carson all the time was just like, <laughs> exactly. I'm like, that's, that's me. I think that's how we all felt. We were, like, oh, we were look, all oh, Carson. My, oh, look, beautiful. Yeah, incredible. <laughs> okay, look at all. Scarlet Envy. <gasps> how did I know Scarlet was going to be mm, on Of there? course, of course, <laughs> of course. It is look at her after it all. It is look at her. Um, uh, now, I'm sure you guys are, are probably fine now, but I know that in the reunion, you... I can't quite remember what happened. You said you didn't like her for some reason. I was at a viewing party, I believe, at Roscoe's, and we right. were talking, and it was such a flippin' off-the-cuff remark. I literally was just trying to be, you know when the, one of those moments when you're trying to be funny yeah. and then you're not? Uh -huh. And I just said, oh, we all hated her, so, like, on the show. Because, I mean, truthfully, when we were filming, like, she did rub a lot of people the wrong way just because she was a lot. Okay. As she should have been because we were on TV and she was being herself and it's also that it's a pressure cooker and it's a you're under a lot of pressure and yeah in your season the producers were telling you every morning don't have a boring season amp it up right I, oh they never told me that oh yeah. they told silky sweetie oh is that what they told well, they <laughs> yeah. I, I i don't remember hearing that but <laughs> it was just it's it's hard to it's hard to get to know people on the show because i feel like everyone is so tense and it's such a it's a pressure cooker it's yeah. hard and I kind of it brings out the best but it also brings out the worst and we definitely butted heads and I feel really bad because I spoke for other people which I shouldn't have and I hurt her feelings the thing I feel worse about is the fact that I hurt her feelings right I never meant to do that honestly I, I thought I was just like oh we all hated her ha 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 kiki ki, ki. and then she like tweeted out that I had hurt her feelings and that hurt that made me feel horrible because that was not what I intended to do I thought I was being like a funny bitchy drag queen yeah which I wasn't <laughs> apparently so it turned into this whole big drama um, and I apologized to her um, and yeah and we're good now, and I, and I really do enjoy her. I think she's super creative. I think she's super quirky. I think she's such an individual. She's kind of like this Americana, Lana Del Rey-ish, yeah. hybrid, <laughs> weirdo, pot-smoking, whiskey-drinking, like, yeah. just very, I think she's amazing. I think she's really, really cool. Um, I don't get to spend a lot of time with her. I, I, we worked together on the Season 11 tour, but we never really worked together besides that. But I, I got nothing 
but good things to say about her. Nothing like being at a viewing party that doesn't have a, like when you're on look at her, you know that yeah. you're going to gonna, gonna see whoever you're saying is going to happen. But Roscoe seems like they have that little camera. Well, up yeah, in the you know it's, but you know it's being filmed. Like we all, <laughs> right. like, that's part of the gig. We know it's being filmed. And I was just, yeah, I just, I wish I could take that moment back because I think a lot of people turn me into a villain from that and thought oh, yeah. I, was, I was being a bitch. And I, I was being a bitch, but it was, it was not meant to be taken that seriously. And I'm just really sorry I hurt her feelings. Well, I love Peace in the Drag Kingdom. Absolutely, me too. Yes. Look at her. Nasha Lopez. Aww. She crowned you Miss Continental. She did. I met her for the first time the year she won Miss Continental. And I didn't realize until after she won that she was a boy. <laughs> because she, again, it's a, the pageant is kind of dominated by trans women, and mm -hmm. we have registration, interview, rehearsals, all these other things to do besides the actual pageant. It's like a whole four-day event. And every time she was at any of those things, she was done in day drag, a light lash, and she's so beautiful and tiny, and so I just thought she was, she was one of the girls. Right. I didn't realize she was a boy queen until, like, I, I think it was, like, final night, and she was, like, getting into, like, her gown and I, and I was like, oh, okay, work. Well, she, <laughs> never mind. Or I, I think I saw her like the day after the pageant and I was like, she was just like in boy clothes. I was like, <laughs> okay, cool. But she's so fun. She's a kiki. I love Nasha. She's, I always have a good time whenever I see her in Chicago and at any like continental event. And we didn't really get cool. to know her that well on Drag Race and we've had her on Hey Queen mm -hmm. and she's lovely. lovely. Uh, what, what do people don't know about Nasha Lopez? She's so funny. She's so funny. I just, like, she always, like, she gets really butch sometimes. She's like, you know what, Mary? Like, you're good. She's talking to me like this, like, when she gets really intense about something. Yeah. And, like, this Puerto Rican jumps out and she just gets real, real hood real quick. And I live. Because, <laughs> like, I, and I think a lot of people don't know. They see her as, like, Nasha Lopez, like, the beauty. Right. The beauty. So she's, she's really, really funny. And she's a kiki. And we have a good time. And if you have not, if you're not, if you're sleeping on Nisha Lopez, go back and look at some of her pageant performances. Oh, bitch. Because, yes. sweetie. Honey. Yes. Turn talent every time. You do not win Miss Continental uh, by being a shrinking violet, honey. No, ma'am. You have to serve. No, that is a talent competition, so got to come correct. Yes. Hello, children. Click here. Click here. You're welcome.